Welcome to the Wild Kingdom. Welcome to my channel. <clears throat> All right. Anyway, if you're here, then I guess you expect me to do some work. Well, I'm going to do some, all right? Let me show you what we're going to do today. We're going to rip this kitchen apart. Yeah, we're going to take that countertop and sink off. Oh, wait a minute. I got to do these dishes. Hang on. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh, well, I guess I'll have to do them the old-fashioned way. So anyway, I'm going to get all this stuff. I'll get the dishes done. I'm going to rip the sink out, the counters off. I'm going to start on building some counters. And I've got the new ones in the shed. You just see my short. I showed them. Uh, that outlet is too low, so I'm going to see what I can do about that. I'm going to pull back that one piece of metal, see if I can't raise that up to where it's above the counter. I've got a four feet, blah, 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 four foot counter to go across here as well as here. So I'm going to rip that top off. I got to make sure it's the same. I'm pretty sure I built this cabinet the same height as that. So it'll work. And uh, see how far we can get. And I'll probably have to go a day or two without a sink. So I got paper plates and I bought burgers to cook on the grill. So if I want to sink again, I'll have to work for it. Let's go. What are you doing? I'll get your grass here in the next day or so. She's mad because I cut the grass, but I didn't get hers. I didn't get theirs either. You'll be okay. Finally, this is the first time in a couple of years I've had all my grass. Remember when them trees were there? Yeah, it's looking good, man. Looking good. All right, back to work. Where are we at? Man. That's the cleanest my kitchen's ever been. That's sad. All right, as you can see, this is a separate piece. Yeah, I got this for like 20 bucks at a flea market. And I don't remember, originally I had a different cabinet and then I added to it, so I just threw that piece in. But the piece I got now is solid 10 foot and then I got two four foot pieces to go in here and the way they did not have the angled ones uh, so I had to buy two straight ones so what I figure I'm gonna do is just join them here and they have a little thing you can put in between there it's a metal plate uh, that's the easiest way to do it and then I'm gonna have to build a cabinet here and I don't know the fate of this one we'll see it may be enough to where I don't need that one, but then that cabinet's going to look funny up there just hanging by itself. It may not. I can do something else, put a microwave card or something here. But I do plan to build a little cabinet for my hood range, or my, what do you call that, vent hood, that goes across the top here. To, you know, you got to have something to mount the hood to. It looks stupid just on the wall. It's an under cabinet mount anyway. So I'm going to work on getting this counter. I got to get under here, turn the water off to the sink, disconnect that. And then we're in business. We are in business. I ain't looking forward to getting up in that sink. Tell you that right now. And I'm going to lift the whole thing out, sink and all as one unit. Somebody may want this. So I did clean that and clean the counter off. So somebody wants this. Otherwise, it's going in the dump stop. The dump stop. Man, that, that white countertop is going to brighten all this up in here. This kitchen is so dark. And I need to do something about these tops here. You see food and stuff builds up on top of these. So I may put a little lip over them that I can wipe off. While this counter is off, that any upgrades or fixing that needs to be done is going to be done. I may even sand these down, these doors, and coat them with linseed oil not sure yet that's rough that's rough uh cut cedar so it's not very easy to sand but i have done it uh it, and it comes out really nice when it's sanded all right let me get busy man i gotta disconnect this water this thing's been dripping for months it drips no more mangani you're like what's mangani ain't you ever watched tarzan 
Anmangani. He gets on that line. Anmangani. I don't know what Mangani is, but Tarzan says it. Uh, I, I gotta get busy. All righty then. Plumbing is disconnected. The water supply disconnected. I hope. Let's double check that. What the hell? Why am I hearing water? I ain't seeing water. That was probably what was left in the line draining down. Alright, by all uh, by all accounts it should just pick up. <laughs> it should. What I got it screwed in somewhere. Well, you want to come out separate, do you? Well, then I'll oblige you, man. Because I got to get your... Ew! I got to get your plumbing things off. It may not... Look, man. It may not be the end of your life. Ah, somebody might take you and use you. Uh, let's see, pecs. I love you, pecs. These quick ones are a lot. Used to be, you, if you wanted to replace it, that's why this is broken. I've never replaced it. Because there is nothing worse than getting underneath the sink and disconnecting the plumbing. And it used to be you had to have a special tool. It was kind of like a, a U-shaped wrench that went this way. And you'd have to get up on, under there, and it took forever. But these new ones here are nice. Just unscrew them. And then there's another connection there from the main water line. This just screws in with a little Teflon tape. All right, sink is out. Let me get rid of it. Wow. I can see right outside. No wonder a mouse is getting in. But this will give me an easy chance to address all these problems rather than to be get under here with all that plumbing in the way. Now I can just lean down, fix what I need. I know what I need to do already. I'm just going to cut a piece of plywood put it there Whew. and then get the shop back vacuum this out real well spray it down a little Lysol and be done with it all right let me get this sink out of here we'll come back I'll get this counter off it's happening it's the point of no return and I may set the new one today at least just set it on there where I have a countertop probably not the sink where, where I can fix the dog supper or whatever. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe uh, Probably just a four foot piece I'll set on there. So I got a little countertop to do something on. Put the microwave on, whatever. Alright, let's see if we can't get this out of here. Ugh. Nasty. Where's the trash? Why did you flex all up like he was Charles Atlas? All you had to do was lift up. Alrighty. If I knew that the Ivies wanted this, I'd go ahead and load it up now. They're, they you use it for an outdoor counter or whatever. I already loaded the sink up because they're getting that anyway. Because I know his dad will at least scrap it. All right, let me get this on out of here. Oh, bagooba. This ought to be fun trying to maneuver out of the... You know, what's going to be fun is trying to get the new one in here. All right. We have cleared the rusty fridge. Oh, oh. Okay, we got her now. Going to take shuffles. Alright. Alright, let me get a measurement of this. Why? I think the new they're all standard, should be like 25 inches. Why didn't you buy a new tape measure? And that's what I made it at. So the new counter should fit perfect. And I built these myself. I'm too cheap to go. I didn't have the money to go buy store-bought cabinets. I built my own. I built these right on the wall. I started out and I framed them out on the wall. 
and I put the frames up. I've got pictures of that. Maybe I'll post one or two right about here. Put my little magnets and all that in there. But I put them up green and I guess these did okay. I put them close enough together, the joints and stuff, where they worked out. Alright, yeah, now I can get in here and clean all this. Hey, I didn't know I had this. Corningware. Yeah. Nice casserole dish. What else I got in here? What is this? Oh, uh, it's part... You buy these appliances and they come with this rotisserie attachments. I, I don't use them. And there's my food. Why do I have two food savers? Oh, Drew loaned me one. Okay, what else we got in here? Coffee maker and a bunch of lids. A whole bag of lids. Alright. I'll come back when I get a little further along, guys. Alright guys, I just had something come back from my past and haunt me really bad. Uh, and I don't talk about this much. It's a very serious matter. I am an ex-lid junkie. Not only a lid junkie, but a glass jar junkie. And as I'm cleaning out below the counters, there was a stash. Yeah, I had stashes. If you're a lid junkie, you know the drill. I had stashes. And it was under the counter and the urge just oh. yeah, anyway let's let's take a look it's hard to look at i know butter lids lids to coleslaw that that you're never going to use everybody has a, a past in their life that they're not proud of and, and i'm not proud of that but even worse than the lids was the jar addiction. Old uh, pickle jars. And you didn't have the lids because they were off with the other lids you were stashing. And they never got used. You'd open a cupboard once in a while, one would fall and break and you'd cry. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys. It's not always easy to admit you had an issue, and it's been, I've been, I've been four years lid free, but that was down there, man. So, you know, no matter what your habit is, you may run into it one day, and you got to be strong. Okay, I'm strong. I got to get back to business. Oh, about got everything out. I got my snake tongs, and by the way, I went out to take that counter out, and I saw my first snake of spring. Yesterday was first day of spring, but it ain't spring till you see your first snake. Might have been Oscar. I'm not sure. All right. Here's where we're at. The new counter will fit perfectly here because it's the same size as the one I pulled. But this counter, for whatever reason, is too big. And that right there won't work uh, with it. So I got to do some modifications to this. Uh, not quite sure. I think I, what I need to do is just take out these in eh, I don't know man I don't know I'll have to think about what I need to do it looks like I'll probably have to cut all of these and that's going to be a lot of work but we'll see I'll get busy on it I'm not real super uh motivated on this today but I got it I got to nibble away at it and because I ain't gonna have a sink until I get it done all right let me get to work all right here's one of the four foot pieces man I'm going to like that. Of course, I'm going to clean all that metal up. That's that's the problem with that stuff up there is it gets dirty. Actually, that's all from doing that uh, drywall mud. But it does get dirty. And man, it's just so much brighter. And when I got the floor, get the floor in, that's going to look nice. But I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to still got to get the shop back clean in here. I've got a repair to do right there. Look at that, guys. So, I'm kind of at a standstill. I don't, I was going to go ahead and put my big counter in and cut for, cut the hole for the sink, put the sink and attach all that. 
I don't have any masking tape. I don't have the right kind of blade for my jigsaw. Uh, there was something else, and I need to get some foam to fill that crack in before I put the plywood on there. Uh, so I'm going to get it cleaned up best I can do, and uh, when I go to feed the dogs later, I'll stop by the hardware store. But man, that's going to look nice in here. This goes a whole lot better with this. I'm going to get some kind of cleaner and just kind of shine that up a little bit. I don't really like it shiny. I like it when it oxidizes a little. You can tell the difference between that and what I've just put up. And I don't think this is going to oxidize too much in here. It will a little bit, but not much. Yeah. I want to brighten things up. But I got, I'm going to take my time with this and get it right. And this counter, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to tear into it and make it smaller and make it work, because it ain't gonna work. And actually, I may just tear it out, because these were originally gonna be drawers. Well, I just need to build it. I put a piece of plywood on there, one on the bottom, and then I got a cabinet. I never did finish that cabinet, but we're finishing things now. Waddles, what on earth are you out here? What's all the commotion about, buddy? Huh? You're out here crowing your butt off. Is there another rooster crowing at you? Yeah. It's a nice day, isn't it, Waddles? Uh, there he goes, waddling. It's a beautiful day. I have lost interest in working. I can't tell you why, I just have. Let me see, yeah, the oak trees aren't budding yet. I think they're budding. They're usually the last ones. It's usually the first ones. Let's go see. I'm curious to see if this tree's coming back this year. It did last year and surprised me. There's Tilly's pillow. Surprise they ain't tore that up. I did. I lost interest in working, guys. <laughs> I got up too early. No, I think I can go ahead and chop this dude down. Yeah, it ain't coming back. That's what came back last year. Yeah, it's dead. It gave it a shot, but it didn't succeed. I could probably almost push it over. Yeah. Alrighty, let's go see what that boy's doing in there. He's losing his hearing because he doesn't hear things well anymore. I'm going to go give him a hearing test. It is a beautiful, beautiful day, son. What are you doing up here in the chair? I want to test your hearing. Treat, treat. Yeah, I think you're losing your hearing a little bit, buddy. You're getting old. You're almost 13. That's pretty. That's up. That's getting up there. You've, you've been with me since day one of getting to Arkansas. Day one. You, yeah, you've seen everything. Treat. 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 Yeah, he would normally be going nuts. Treat. You're not going totally deaf, are you? Let's see, what's what's a trigger word? I have noticed though, he Yeah, he just I, I notice his hearing's he's not hearing as well because I'll call at him and he just ignores me and he's never done that. Yeah. Can you hear me? <laughs> I don't think you're totally deaf, but you have started barking louder and louder over the years. And that's a sign. You sure ain't. You're getting up there too. Yeah. November of this year, you'll be 10. You'll be 10 years old. You guys got it good, don't you? All right, guys. I don't have much that I want to do today. You ever get one of them days? Well, we'll go see the rooster. Then we'll end it. And Millie and Tilly. They got to be in all of them. What are you two doing? Laying in the shade that the 
carport's creating. Well, you know you can get right in the carport. Yeah, come on. You can get right in here. I don't have the truck in here because i got to leave again. Ain't nothing wrong with their hand. And this one, two in the morning, hooting all over the place. Yeah, you was. I gotta go get you guys an X guard tomorrow. Get your X guards on so you don't get any bugs. Yeah. You gonna hit my camera with that big old floppy tail? All right, let's go see Rooster. Can I put you for sale on Facebook Marketplace? I bet I get about $4 out of you. If I give you a bath, maybe six. What do you think of that? <laughs> With your big old buck teeth. All right, say hi to the people. She doesn't know. All right, I'll go ahead and end it. I'm sorry I didn't do more work today, but I try to film everything every step of the way, and that is a step. The new counters, I'm going to really like that. That is a nice color. But yeah, I have decided that I'm going to get rid of this light. It's just too dingy in here. It just doesn't put out enough light. Like, you know, after I got this and them other lights, everything else is dark. So I'm going to go go with something I really don't want a fan in here but that is pretty close the base it's pretty close to the size of this base and I could fit that in there pretty easy so I may just order another one to put nah it's too close it's just too close to that one and it wouldn't it's not really needed in here so I'll find something that's like an 11 inch base across I think I remember or nine inch I think I'll be looking but uh yeah i need to go with something led uh like this that's adjustable man that thing's bright it just brightens everything up so nice in here and so we're just waiting on this here we're just waiting for the floor and then i can go ahead and move everything in here um but i'm gonna have to take all this stuff and shove it in here so i can put the flooring up there first and then shove it all back out then lay the floor and then from here it should be pretty simple uh, we're gonna get it done man I want to get all this done before the heat comes so there's other projects to move on to so thanks for watching guys I appreciate you guys happy trails